take a closer look at probably the best adventure boots on the market. The CD Adventure 2 Gore-Tex is probably one of the best adventure boots on the market today. A lot of you will probably argue with me about uh, how good protection these boots got, but um, keep in mind the intended use for these kind of boots. This is a stiff adventure boot, it's not an enduro boot. It's hard to argue against um, safety. Find out for yourself what is safe enough for your kind of riding. For me, this is plenty enough. When it comes to safety, it's almost like how many smoke detectors do you have in your own home? Do you have one in each room? Do you have one in each uh, floor? It's up to you to decide what is enough and what is uh, nice to have. It's a really good adventure boot that is uh, stiff enough to do gravel and uh, some and light enduro stuff. And it is really comfortable to wear on uh, longer adventure trips. And it's pretty good to walk in, even if the sole is a little bit stiff. I'm not sure if everybody has this, but CD has uh, buckles you can replace. If one of them is broken, you can replace either one. Same on the other side. And um, the buckles I find really easy to adjust. I have this boot for two years now, and I'm really impressed by the quality of the boot and uh, the material used. It's not leather boots, it's more like um, yeah, something to look like leather, but still, it works really good. Uh, the boots is Gore-Tex, so it keeps your feet dry. Because it's Gore-Tex, it can be a problem uh, in the hot summer days. But I find no matter what boots you use, unless you use Crocs, you um, will get warm and sweaty feet. <sighs> if you get wet inside the boot, it can be a pain to dry out. So. Um, if that happens, I always uh, go into a camp spot and I try to borrow a shoe dryer. I'm not sure the name of it. You can use newspapers to put in it to get uh, all the moisture out. Yes, I can agree. If you ride rough enduro stuff and uh, hard enduro stuff, I wouldn't choose this boot. You can do easy enduro stuff with these boots, boots without no problem, without risk losing your legs. Just keep in mind that they're not that well protected uh, compared to enduro boots, but it's a really good and protective adventure boot, in my opinion. I see some guys complain about uh, the boot is just a little bit too stiff. It can be hard to uh, reach the rear brake lever and uh, it can be a pain to uh, shift up and down when you stand up riding. I have not found that to be an issue and uh, I think that is more about adjusting your uh, foot pegs and adjusting your gear and uh, brake lever to um, fit the, um, the way you stand on the bike. They do squeak. You probably heard some of the guys uh, going through the shops or going around um, in camp squeaking like crazy. And um, yeah, I think the CDs are known for that, but um, it's an easy fix with some silicone spray. And I probably put them in with silicone spray once or twice every season. It depends on how much mud and rain I have been riding in. Silicone spray and just put some inside. Yeah. Yeah, one of the main reasons I uh, changed from uh, my old TCX boots was because the sole of the boot was way too soft. So when I was standing for hours on uh, my gravel trips and uh, adventure like that, I 
got a pain underneath my, uh, my foot. With these CD boots, the sole is so stiff that is not an issue. The grooves or the pattern in the sole is um, kind of rough, so it grips down really good on the foot pegs. As you can see here, um, I stand more on my, yeah, how to say it, the, more towards the toes than towards the underneath my legs. I'm not sure if that is the best or the most correct position, but I find that really comfortable. Here in the northern parts of Europe and uh, Norway and countries um, in Scandinavia, I do see a huge benefit of having Gore-Tex boots because the weather is changing all the time. Most of the year it's cold. So um, to have good boots that keep your feet dry is key for every uh, comfortable ride over many hours out on the trails or out on tarmac adventures. One of the first things you learn when you go to uh, the military... To do whatever you tell me, drill sergeant! God damn it, come! ...is to keep your feet warm and dry. That makes a whole difference when you're out riding as well. If you get, uh, if you get wet feet, it's a pain every time you come to camp. Many of you may ask, what about uh, river crossings? I see a lot of guys doing some really deep river crossings. Yes, it looks cool on video. I've been there myself. I think it's uh, really cool to do some water crossings. When the water gets to a certain height, it's not cool anymore. It's just plain stupid, in my opinion. I'm not gonna go too much into details. Uh, I see a lot of other guys do that online. If you're into these kind of boots, I highly recommend you to see more videos about them and uh, try to see if all the specs are meets your criteria for what are good or bad adventure boots. What is most important for you? Safety or uh, a comfortable boot? I think this is a perfect middle ground. I think this is in between a comfortable boot and a safe boot. I have to apologize for the German porn star look, but uh, that's just the way it is every November. Man's health is really important. So that is what I have for you guys today. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.